there. Sorry about that. My water bottle's just a little Okay, they just went live. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is humancolony.org with our regular Saturday webinar with Jim. I want to welcome everybody who's joined us. We'll give a quick introduction very soon. So today is 31st January 2015, last day of January 2015 already. It goes so quick. So I just want to hand over to Sabrina and Jim and to get the introductions done and we get the webinar on the way. Very good. Welcome, everybody, to our Saturday webinar. It's January 31st already, 2015. So let's see who comes through today. And I want to say hello to Slava, Max, uh, Tyler, and Danny, um, and Gisela for all the other help that they do on the website. And I also want to say happy birthday to Jim. His birthday is tomorrow. Thank so, you. Uh, we need to give thanks for his birth. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, happy birthday, Jim. Thank you. That's very sweet. Thanks. You guys are all very wonderful to me. Um, some of you have sent me birthday gifts, so that was somebody sent me the, all the Stargate. They they copied all their Stargate episodes of Stargate One and sent them to me. So <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> I got a stack of CDs like this. Is that a movie <laughs> no, it's a TV show. It's a cable TV show. It's Stargate yes, One. Stargate One. Uh, I I love one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, so I now, uh, thanks to Joe Ambrose in Pennsylvania, I have all of them. I have like <laughs> 30 CD. He boxed them up and sent them because he copied them all off. So and that was so nice. That was very time consuming. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Sean Gabriel. Let's see. Hello. 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 It would be nice to have like uh, someone from the humans from the colonies to talk. Oh, we haven't talked to Dennis or James in a while, so. Yeah. Yes. Pegasus, Noah, Sher, Sharon. Who? Yeah. Sharon. Sharon. Yes. Who is Sharon? Oh, we're just doing introductions. Just doing introductions, Jim. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Sharon. Uh, okay, Hi, everybody that's there. <clears throat> I think Sharon's been here before, though. Right? Yes, she has. She came with her mom last week. I remember. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, she's so sweet. Yes, I remember. Yeah. So, um, also, I would like to request her or somebody from the colony because I do have questions from Slava and I am putting him on top. <laughs> so, um, okay, that's, oh, that's fine. So I'm, I'm doing it. And I have uh, uh, also questions from a member called Maria. Do you know her? Um, I might have met her, but I don't. She's I very, can't very nice. She's very, very nice. So hello, Gosh. Maria. <laughs> so she has also some questions. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Maria. Anybody else have a request today? Uh, uh, Elohim, yeah. maybe. Elohim? Yeah, if they will come. Did they come yet? No. All right. Um, I have a request for um, Bass. To come from ancient Egypt. Oh, Bast. Yes. Okay. Angel Dean. Jim, I mean. I didn't hear that. What? Angels. 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 Oh, okay. Angel 
I think, uh, yeah, I'm not hearing you very well. Let me turn up my volume. No, it's not, it's not you, it's her, because I can't hardly hear her also. Oh, okay, I just wasted. Yeah, I've adjusted it. Angels, any angels. That's a little better. Angels, okay. The only angels that ever came to me were Gekiel. Gabriel came to me, but he didn't come in, but he did come to me. But uh, Gekiel usually is my channel, so if I'll talk to him too. Um, and I don't know. You could. We can also be surprised with a new entity. <laughs> a new entity? We'll see who comes through. <laughs> you remember the one that came through the one time? Um, he only came in once, and I think he came out of curiosity, but he never came back again. Oh, was he a reptilian? No, I don't think he was a reptilian. He couldn't. I don't think he really told us what he was. Oh, okay. He, oh, I remember him, yes. Yeah. He was uh, very yeah. creepy a little bit. I mean, and, actually, very creepy. And he yeah. did not like the human body completely. Like, he couldn't have well, a human being like Grindle. <laughs> Grindle's better because he had a tail reduction. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, he told us. So. He's funny. Anyway, okay. Any any quick any more requests before I go? No, that was it. Okay. Just I'll a quick announcement, to... Jim, if I may. Um, yeah, just go ahead. For the, just for the people present in the room today, when they join, they can see there's a little bit of etiquette on the side. If everyone would like to read through that and just attune yourself with the um, the etiquette of the the webinar and how we want to run things. So we can get everybody in, everyone gets a fair chance, and it's all equal. Also, I just want to mention to the people that are turning up to the channeling webinar later on today. Thank you so much for turning up. Interest has been fantastic, and we'll be doing another one soon. So if anybody else is interested in doing a proper channeling webinar, where you can maybe break some boundaries, limitations, whatever, we will host another one very soon, and we'll announce that on the website. Yeah. Yes, yes thank some, you. Are, some are requesting a 2.0. Okay, yes, um, for the advanced class, an yeah. advanced class. Yes, for those that are already starting to channel, uh -huh. we'll do that next. We'll do a 2.0 channel. But thank you for the interest. We have a full class, and we're going to have several people here at the, my house as well. So every the uh, class is full, full, full. So excellent. Thank you. And any more other yeah, announcements, Rowie? Yeah, that's it. That's fine. Okay, very good. I will see you in a little bit, and we'll see who comes through. And um, thank you for your requests. They usually listen, or at least they some did last week, I think. Uh, the canine entity was different. I remember that. I forget his name, though. But, um, yes, let's see who comes this week. See you later. We are the organization of the Elohim. Welcome. We wish you Welcome. a great day. We want to come here to mention things that have not been mentioned, that may be logical but not have been mentioned to you. For we overlook the spiritual side of your development. But 
In that, we must also let you know that the body is affected by fourth dimensional energy. As the brain has been activated in a different way, so is the body encouraged to react a different way as well. So do not fight the feelings in your body. Many have had headaches and many have had tensions in their necks and shoulders and even down the spine. Some of this is from that third dimensional, fourth dimensional energy that's come to third dimension. Now, just relax and let it take a simulation into your system because this is the way that it will react the best with you. Many of you do not understand how powerful the fourth dimensional energy in your brain has become because as the ascension continues, the power of that activation becomes greater. This is something of a great thing for you because you will be able to ground yourself more easily and bring yourself up through the fourth dimension. So, do not fight it. If you feel a headache coming on or tiredness or something that you feel that is fourth dimensionally activated, please just say a prayer that the fourth dimension will assimilate into that area of the body and not bother the physical. The spiritual is also affected by the fourth dimensional energy. Fourth dimensional energy in the spirit makes you lighter and able to understand more spiritual things than you were able to understand before. Many of you have gone through revisions in your spiritual thought patterns because of fourth dimensional energy that has come to you. The physical and the mental and the spiritual are all connected in some way, yet we govern the spiritual. And as the spiritual moves forward, we ask that you become greater help to one another. Do not feign friendship or do not be as quiet as you once were. If you feel like speaking, you must speak. If there is a thought that needs to be shared, you must share it. This is the time. This is the time when the spirit is coming forth when it is starting its ascension because the ascension is not only with the mind but the body the spirit and the emotion all must be coming along at the same speed or else you will lose something in your translation of the ascension now if you feel one of these is lagging behind pray and intention your meditations to equalize your body systems so that you rise all at once now, you have not been told about this before too often, perhaps because the spirit is the most important and brings the others along, but I must mention it because there are some whose bodies are not ascending as fast as their spirit and emotion and mind. So make sure that you let the assimilation of the fourth dimensional energy come to you in a way that will help your body also feel the physical benefits of this fourth dimensional energy. Do you understand me? Yes. Wonderful. We bring blessings to you as well. And I know there is one out there that speaks the Hebrew language that we all are familiar with. We have a percentage of that within us still. About 60% of our language is from that Hebrew but it is different now than it was before. So we do not understand it quite as clearly, but yet it is still able to be deciphered. So there, in that, we understand humanity in some ways. Is there any questions? Yes, for those that don't really know who the Elohim are, can you give us a little we are of God. We have ascended into a spiritual community. We have those that broke off from us as El did and become different facets of God. But God, of course, is one and the Creator. We are not at that level, but just below. Do you understand? Yes. Um, and in reference to Earth, how we are the protectors of the spirituality of Earth. 
We are not always able to get through to humanity the way that we would like to. However, there are things that have to happen, and we must let them happen so that the will of God is carried out on your planet. But it is essential that we speak to your spirits now and then and bring you to a place of understanding. Just recently, we've spoke to many of a group in several different countries about raising their spiritual understanding and bringing the truth to a resonation within them because they were not resonating with the total truth. They were following everywhere they could find for some information. But now, their spiritual truth has been aligned with us. Okay, in, in terms of resonation, um, can, can you tell us what is the best way um, for us to decide? I, I understand to follow the heart. When your uh, eyes are open, you will know that it's a truth. If you feel that something is wrong and there's incompletion or there's something that is not quite right, you know that that is not a resonation that goes to you. But, of course, some truths on the earth are poisoned, so you must find the pearl and shed it from the oyster, so to speak, so that you may find that which is inside of it that is the pure truth. But it may be covered with other things. But you will, if you look, if you look diligently, you will find. Seek and you shall find. It is written and it is truth. Okay. You will find it. Do you understand that or does that not explain what I am saying? Yes, you, it your resonation it. is also that which makes you happy. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Um, sure. And then Maui? Da. Hello. Sure. Yes. We are I where you are. Ah, you remember me? Yes. Um, two questions. The first one is that uh, I know there is an uh, agent being, being around my brother named uh, Anamo maybe that uh, Anamo. sent by the yes that was sent by the Elohim to him yes what do you want to know about that um, why uh, did they send him the Bing they, he needed protection at that time there was something that was coming upon him that was not meant to be and therefore, protection was necessary. Okay. Um, can I try to speak with you with Hebrew, maybe some Bible-like Hebrew? Let's see if we can somehow communicate in your own uh, language, if it's okay. I would not like to do that at this time because we are not familiar with your Hebrew language. It is 60%, but 40% different. But if you would like to speak something, I would like to see if I can understand. Okay, I will say something from the Bible. Are you, are you, can you hear me? I can hear. Okay. Shan na'alecha me'al re'lecha ki mokom bo ata omed hu kadosh. We did not understand. However, we will learn more. Hmm. It's from the Bible. Yes, but our version is now different. The Can Bible is different. The Bible is not as accurate as you might think. And so, hmm. therefore, we do not memorize that, that which you call the Bible, but the truth that was there when it started, when it was originally written. So your truth may be, your writing may be different in that sense. Because... The truth has been changed, or what they call changed. The writing has been changed, and so the meanings have been changed. Mm -hmm. So many times the Old Testament, the parts that were written in Hebrew, were actually changed through the years, and may be very, very different now, and are very, very different now. I see. 
can you maybe speak in your own tongue? Ihaha, Sotoriata, Yaku, Shanti, Shalokom, one was of Skeria Piantia. Shakawa, Awa Sawati. Hmm. It does not sound the same, does it? No. <laughs> Okay, um, thank you very, very much. You are welcome. You are so social media. Shalom to more. You can't I sent you a small blessing, and perhaps eyes will be opened as to different things for you. Thank you. Blessings, dear one. I'm sure there's many, many questions. There's a lot of your, let's say, history in our texts and books, and um, I'm sure we've got many questions for you today. I believe Noha has some. Noha. Welcome. Greetings, dear one. This is Noha. Uh, my question um, uh, When at our day and age will spirituality be part of all religions? When will your DNA what? No, no, I didn't say DNA. I said when will, when at our DNA, will spirituality be part of all religion? Mm -hmm. That is not for a while yet because you have so many diversities. To get them all together will take many, many different tasks. But they are starting to unify in the light worker community. They are starting to unify in some of the other great communities. Even the Christian community is now starting to understand that their God is the same as other gods and they, they have the same power. They see, seek the same endings and speak the same words in many ways. So this is a beginning. But there is a, a long way to go. Many tasks and many interventions to come. Oh, okay. Okay, the other question is uh, regarding the energies we spoke about earlier. Uh, more than two months ago, I've been, I've been heard on my, on my uh, arm, okay, at the, yes. all the joints. So I don't know, is it from this energy you're talking about? Because I feel my spirit has been waves. I feel I'm not for the but I don't know. Is it right? Is it, I'm feeling something energetically in my arm. Is it had to do with what you said just a minute ago? I think I understood your question. There is something energetically going on in your arm. Is that correct? Sure, sure. And what is the question about that? Is it that has to do with the energy you talked about a minute ago about the oh. 4D? Uh, is it has to do with that? It does not at this time. However, you will feel the effects of that fourth dimensional energy in the head, shoulders, necks, and back and spine mostly. Others will feel it in the arms, but the, the thing that you are feeling in the arm is not that. Your head would have been affected first. Thanks, that's it. Thanks. But I can tell you that the healing in your arm has already begun. Great, thank you. You are welcome. Um, I would like to, if if you could say a prayer or help uh, one of our members, Jeannie. Um, she actually is the one that speaks the Elohim, and she taught me it. Ah, uh, yes. We are aware of her, and we have also have been with her. God has sent us to be with her. She is blessed. And we are there now. Yeah, because we're all concerned for her and some of us felt that it wasn't her time. But um, if you can do whatever you can do for her. She is doing happens. well at the moment. Thank you. Things will change. It will be fine. This, we have decided 
or we are deciding when her time is. There are many things that come in to influence that decision. But it is not that she would die. She would just return to the Oversoul. Do not be sad if she does. But I do not think she will at this time. Okay, thank you. Dear one, I have a question for you. I wanted to ask about your interactions with humanity at this time and the previous nows in the last, let's say, 50 years. Have you been actively um, contacting people on this planet? Yes. We have always been actively contacting people on your planet within, since the beginning of your existences. Uh -huh. I say that because there are many existences here. And we have been in contact, but you may not understand how we contact humanity. We contact you in a way that only you will understand and only that you will know. But the thing is, you do not recognize it as Elohim. You, are, you recognize it as a third dimensional thought pattern because that's what dimension you are in. But uh -huh. we must work with you on that dimension because we cannot change you. Okay, I understand. I have a follow-up on that. Um, yes. There is an organization I was part of um, many years ago and um, claims that he was contacted by an Elohim being called Yara. Raul. Raul. Is that correct? Rael? Rael. We call him Raul. Uh-huh. Yes. yes. We contacted him. And you visited him and asked him to but write... But he let some of the Elohim. things that we told him not be totally explained properly. He did fi at the beginning speak many wise things that we have given him, but after a while things disintegrated and we did not realize till we came back that some things were not correct. Okay. But yes, we spoke to him. Yeah, they are planning to build you an. You call him Rael. You call him Rael. What do you he call him? Stuff Rael. Yes. Rael. We call him Ruul. I believe it means messenger in Hebrew, if I'm correct. Yes. And the I would like to ask about Yahweh, and the connection of Yahweh to the Elohim. Yahweh is one from the beginning. Uh -huh. Another name for God, another name for that who is in charge, that who creates, that who is larger than us. Thank you. I know you have a smaller version, but the original Yahweh comes from the beginning. The I am, the beginning. Wow, thank you. Um, that's okay. I've finished now. If anyone else would like to ask a question, sure. If you can, you want to ask one more question? Yes. Um, I know that uh, there was a part in the Bible. Um, I don't remember which king it was. I think it was uh, Shlomo or David that slept by the Arona Brit. If you know what it is, the one uh, that gone missing the device that he used in order to communicate with the Elohim, the Hebrews. Yes. And I know that uh, in one of the stories, one of those kings uh, fell asleep next to the device and then talked with the Elohim, which uh, the Hebrews uh, refer to as God. We still refer to you as God. We still pray to the Elohim. The Elohim is of God, yes. But yes. he is on a higher level, slightly higher. The level higher than us. But Elohim, the word El, in the Hebrew is God. Yes. So yes, 
we are God in the sense that we follow and take his will and do it. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me about that time that uh, many of the kings ask for uh, the Elohim for long um, periods of time of living? I don't know how to explain it. And well of knowledge. Yes, uh, what do you want to know? Um, yes, there was a time when there was the Elohim interacted very closely with humanity in the sense that we were trying to make them understand what what God was and how God worked and the miracles of God and the long the ability to give gifts to humanity, but they misused them and we so we left them. Hmm. So you left the Hebrews? You no longer... Uh... Only, only we did not leave them as much as distance ourselves from them for a while because we needed to understand their reactions to this great power. They corrupted themselves with power. And mm. so we had to leave them so they came back down. Like uh, Shlomo the King had like 10,000 women and stuff like that? Yes. Okay, and when you mean you gave them great powers, how did you brought them powers? You gave them abilities? Well, they were able to live long periods of time. They were able to know and understand other people without really speaking to them because telepathy was strong at that period. And so they were able to build their businesses by taking advantage of the people. But that is not what we wanted it for. So you, we had to let them fail. Hmm. Yes, I can see. Um, what about now? Now can you trust someone with that power? No. Mm. Okay. Um, also, I would invite you to, if you want to visit me or speak with me, I would. We love have to. visited you and have spoken to you. We do not know if you understood, but we will come to your language and learn it again. Can you tell me when did you spoke with me? A year ago, in January. What was it? What was it what? The, the time that you spoke with me. Maybe I remember it uh, differently. It was about the changes you were making in your life at that time. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I invite you again. Thank you. You are welcome. Um, I have two questions. Can you tell us what your... How do you see God? I know it's a difficult question uh, with our language, but if you could give us your best description of how, how do you perceive God? He is all around us, inside and out. When we are close to Him, there is warmth, and every cell of your existence becomes filled with love. That is how you experience God. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful, yes. Um, I know I have uh, spoken Elohim. Yes. Um, and you gave me the, the experience that I had. Yes. Um, which was beautiful. Thank you for that. You are welcome, and many more. You are starting to rise now. Let me give you a small prophecy of who you are, if I am able. Yes. But please. now is the beginning of your journey. You thought it started earlier, but it did not. It starts now, and you will rise. Yes, because um, normally when I do my meditations, it's I usually think of God, um, and 
I wish to understand it more. Um, I felt him. I felt the energy and the love. Um, I felt at that time. Uh, and many years ago, I also felt it uh, yes. during meditation. Um, it is a time that is coming now where things will change for you. But I cannot tell you how. But you will know when it happens. Okay. Thank you. Um, is there a reason why I haven't spoken the Elohim anymore? It will come again. Okay. It is just not time yet for you to speak it. When you speak Elohim, there must be a reason. Okay. There must be a purpose. It cannot be just words in the air. Elohim has meaning. It must be shared. It just cannot be thrown out into the air. Like a blessing or something? Yes. Okay. I will keep that in mind. Thank you. You are welcome. Uh, anybody else have any questions? In the room with Jim, there's a couple of people. If they have any questions, I do. yes. Uh, I do, Sandy. Um, since you are so very close to God, I was just wondering if you, what your capabilities of healing our bodies here on Earth, like maybe helping Jim with his eyes. Um, we are capable of doing many kinds of healings and miracles. However, this is not the day and age for them in multitudes. Occasionally we must do a miracle or occasionally we do healings, but it is not our time for that. Our time now is for teaching of spirit. And there are those that will come into the light that we will heal. But there are reasons for afflictions on humanity to keep them without pride to keep them without great thoughts of themselves perhaps to keep them into a perspective that is understandable to third dimension and so therefore there are afflictions but do not be fooled some of these afflictions will be taken away because they are not supposed to be there and it will not seem as a miracle, but seem as that they were supposed to leave as they did. Do you understand? Um, yes. Um, I was just wondering if it's possible to help Jim heal his eyes so that he could see well. No. Not now. Okay. There is a reason for this. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I am going now. Thank I see you. the questions are fewer and less important. I will go. Okay. Thank you for coming. Thank you yeah. so much. Hello. Bye. To the you are and I want to say to sure, we cannot let you know for sure that we exist yet. There are reasons for this. That is why all your questions of proof are unanswered, and there are others that feel the same. But there are reasons for these things. Your faith but is being tested. Do not lose it. Okay. In the future, I will speak with you, channel you. Always. I will speak with you soon. Thank you. Thank you. I'm looking forward to, to it. Very good. Thank you, dear one. Our unconditional love to your people. And unconditional love, spirit, energy, and blessings to you. We give you great power when it comes to peace. Bring peace upon yourselves. Because in the peace, you find the love and the ascension. When your body is at peace, love can grow in a great way. Nourish it. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Tula.
Batterie. Ah. Ah. That's a hard act to follow. <laughs> oh, God. Riser? Oh, God. Yeah, he, that's it. Uh. They're, they're so organized, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, why? They all speak at the same time. Ooh, why? If, if we all spoke at the same time, it would be a mess. Ah. But anyway, I just wanted so, to come and say hello. I, well, uh, hi, Rizzo. Hi, Rizzo. Rizzo, say hello. Do you get to hear them uh, when they're talking? Uh, what? You get to hear them when they're talking? Oh, uh, well, I was listening. I shouldn't have, maybe not. But they give me a headache a little bit. Maybe it's my fourth dimensional energy. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> they're, they're great. I just came to say happy birthday to Jim. That's all. Uh, I'm so happy. Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah, uh, did you look uh, like, I sent my message. I really not sweet. So, um, but yeah, he deserves a shout out now and then. You know, uh, I like his I like his body a little better now that my tail reduction is all right. So, but it's still not comfortable, but it's not painful anyway. So, any questions for me today since I'm here? Sean has a question. Yay, Sean. Love Hello, you. Hello, Gandalf. I love you so much. I'm an ansy pansy, as you like to call them. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. But I was wondering, uh, can I have your tail? What'd you say? Can I have the bit of your tail that got removed? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I think it's in a jar somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, uh, if you want a piece of it, that's fine. I'll, I'll send it down. You'll find it somewhere. I mean, it might stink, but it's yeah. It's from if it doesn't, if you don't find it right away, it might not look so good. But anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah. Who else? I'm not staying long because important people have to go. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Grendel, did you best yeah. my message? Uh, what? Did you best my message? It's you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. That's done. That's been done. I do it in the same day. It's been done. Really? Yeah. Okay. Have you heard anything? <laughs> no, not yet. Uh, I, 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 you know, you never know. You might. I'm, I'll be surprised if you do, but you still might. The, the message was interesting. Yeah, I liked it. So. Okay, well, thank you. And if you want to give me also a piece of your tail, I would be honored. <laughs> oh, what? A, a piece <laughs> of my tail. Oh, my God. You people are disturbed. But anyway. <laughs> you got a tooth going. I'll take a tooth. Oh, I'll take a tooth. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, you're going to dismantle me before before my very eyes. I heard humans are pretty good at that. They like dissecting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, they'll dissect, they'll dissect you for sure, and then they'll go, what does this do? I have no idea. Yeah, this must be the heart. Yeah, yeah. You look at a reptilian's insides, you probably won't know it. Uh, there's, a, there's an organ there that takes out uh, gravel and things. So... <laughs> It'll be full of stones, and they'll go, "What's this? Oh, I'm full of stones!" Yeah, <laughs> I just would laugh. <laughs> Grindle, I've got a good question regarding hearts. Is there any species that has more than one heart? Oh yeah, there's more than one. There's more than one species that have more than one heart. Yes, uh -huh. just okay. like you have uh, that being that uh, creature that has a bunch of stomachs. You know. Them have more than one heart, and they need uh, they need them for a reason because uh, one of them stops to rest every so often, so the other one takes over. Uh huh. Okay. And is would would in a, a being like that would a heart replicate what the mind does, like having the left and the right side of the brain? Would you have the same actually? That's a very good going on with the heart there. Yes, that's that's an interesting question because they're center brained. Um, mm -hmm. Because of that, probably is that's why their their brain is not divided into left and right, but it's central, 
and therefore they're very delicate because in the center, if everything is centralized, then pain, thoughts, everything is in, in the middle. You know what I mean? Or it comes from the middle. And so if you hurt something on the brain in the middle there, everything is affected, everything. So, But they're a fragile species. Thank you, Dylan. Yeah. I, I want to say congratulations for your new uh, <laughs> experience with Jim. Uh, uh, what was that? That that you finally are able to come into gym without having oh, so thanks. much problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably you want a piece of tail too. But anyway, totally. <laughs> uh, Raleigh wants a tooth. Yeah, I'm not giving that up yet. Okay, you'll have to dig that out of my box or whatever. So, when they when they burn me all up and throw me in a box, you can find a tooth in there, maybe. Uh, do you keep your tooth your whole lifetime or? Well, no, well, they, just like you, we have some teeth that come out and are replaced by more longer, more sharp teeth. Because as a child, you don't eat real, real, uh, you know, stuff you have to rip apart. But as an adult, you do. So, because we feed our children, so their teeth as a child are not as, as sharp as they are when they're an adult. Training, training, though, yes. When they become like five or six, they uh, four or five, whatever the age is, they get those teeth in, you know, the fangies so they can uh, eat better. All right, I'm out of here because I got to let somebody else come in. But I had to stop and say hello. Thank you I'll for see you coming, later. Brendel. Bye. <laughs> Happy to see you. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, have a nice day. Thank you, Grito. You too, Grito. Namaste. Mm, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. <clears throat> It's been a while since I've been here. Oh, it's Douglas. Hello. Hello, Douglas. How are you? Uh, I'm so well, thank you. So, um, how are you all doing? It's, doing I've met, I, I think I've met most of you on the colonies at this point. Yes. So, uh, yes. But anyway, so how is it going down here? I know you need a report on the colonies and all that. The colonies are going fine and everybody's visiting and doing telepathic things and uh, uh, the one the one area that's not so busy right now is um, the fourth, the channeling one. A lot of people are learning to do that in other ways, but we are still teaching the channeling in four, but it is very important that you do it the right way. So. Um, is there any questions? Um, yes, I have um, a few questions from uh, Slava. Of um, course, very good. So, Slava, how are you? Let's see if you can answer them. He said about eight months ago he asked for Pleiadian Yayer Lirin and Syrian infusion. He wants to know if it's done. There are some of it that's done. Let me check the books here, or the, the machine, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the, he has the... Uh, Lirin is done, and the Syrian is done. Uh, they are starting the Yigil, 
Well, actually, it's about 4% in. Uh, and the other is not started yet. Um, and then but he has two of them completed. The Yuyil, the Yuyil is at 4%. The uh, Lirin is 6%. And the Syrian was 8%, which is very high. Okay. Um, all right, so he is getting the Syrian. He did get the Syrian, yes. Okay. Um, the other question he had is about, uh, he said that there was a hybrid child that he thinks it was born recently. That is his? Yes. Yes, he has another doctor. He has two doctors now. Um, um, the first doctor is absolutely amazing, as he already can see her. And the second daughter is just recently born, within the last uh, three weeks. Okay. Um, he wants to know when they were born. Do you do you know the the date? Uh, the dates. Uh, you see, they don't do time things here, so uh, <laughs> it would be on the. Uh, um, it would be in uh, the first one was in. Uh, September, I believe. It looks like perhaps the chart is around September or October. And then the, this recent one was, of course, January. About the middle. Oh, oh, not quite. But just before the middle. Maybe the, the around the 10th. Okay. He also wants to know if, if they have already named them. Or no, he, well, they do they have names for them, yes. But he has the names for them, so... We already know that he wants to name them, so we will let him do that. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I have you here. I know. Was Was mine born yet? This is Sabrina. It will be born shortly. Okay. Thank you. But like I said, they don't go by days. Uh, I can. Yes, and and Takur is very good at interpreting what months and things that things are in, because she knows how to translate it easily. But I I don't really get involved with that too much, so I don't know how to do that as easily. Continue. I'm still here. Okay. Okay. I'll allow others to go now because I know there are some other questions. I know Caroline has a question, but I will check on that. Oh, Caroline, Liney, yes. All right. Hey there. Yes, so, Sean? You're a very popular no. one, you know. Yes. The question, and then Noha, and then Stephen. Oh, I thought it was Liney. Go ahead. Who's next? Sean? Sure. Uh, hello, Douglas. Uh, hello. My question is, can you give a numerical value of how many people's actually gone to the Connollys? Like, I know well, what the group is, yes. but I want a numerical value, please. Yes. There's been about 280 people that's come to the colony. Um, 322 were asked to go, but some refused, so there you have it. And uh, But it's, the number is growing because there's more people coming to Human Colony, and uh, more people are going to go. That is why one of the reasons why a lot of people aren't going as often as they used to go, because we have a larger number to deal with, and um, we have to get them all in there, and help them all out and but there are a few regulars of course there's about 15 of you that go a lot because you are you're you're helping us and also some of you are teachers such as L is a teacher and so forth and so on and Sabrina you're in the council so you're helpful in that way and Rowie of course and uh, Kim is up there a lot quite a bit so um, just a few people that um, really go a lot for different reasons, for for uh, because they have uh, reasons to be there, and Liney, you're there quite a bit, and um, sure, just the recently um, you came a couple times, but for different reasons than you might think, not for tele telepathy. They wanted to actually 
uh, interrogate you about maybe being a teacher of some sort. So that might be something that you might be doing in the future. And uh, let's see, who else? Gabriel, you're up there. You were up there quite a lot, and now you're not there as much because you've, you've, done, uh, you've done a lot. And, uh, but you are a trainer every now and then when they need one for a telepathy class. So um, let's see, who else is there? Oh, Safira's there a lot recently because she's, um, well, she had a lot of questions. And so therefore, she was in the telepathy, telepathy class. She was in class uh, Colony 2, and she was also in Colony 5 because she's a singer. And um, she sings very well, so they let her entertain up there on the point. So um, yes, just just to give you a few things. So, oh, and Rawi, you're always there doing the entertaining as well. So, um, <laughs> yes. Have I ever been there? Uh, Sandy, you have been there. Yes, and Sean, you have been there as well. So, uh. More in the past than in the present because uh, they need to get some new people in there. But you'll be going again for sure. Well, whoever I want to know, I know. I know. Oh, you're, we call you the shiny one. You're the shiny one. Whenever they talk about the shiny one, it's always you because your spirit is very shiny. I'm not sure why, but it's very shiny. Which is good. Um, hello, Douglas. Hello, how are you? This is Noha. Tell me about myself. You haven't mentioned my name. Am I, I can I tell you there? that you have been there. Oh, Noha, you have been there. And when you run around, you, when you're up there, you're, you're so talkative. You talk to oh. everyone. Um, oh, oh, yes. You're very talkative. It's because it seems like you're sort of lonely on Earth. So I think that you love the companionship up there. So, um, um, and also, uh, you bring you bring these creative thought patterns with you about how to make clothing and things of that nature. So, uh, so you bring your clothing designs with you, and you also have, on the colonies, have created a style for a couple of the aliens that really yeah. liked what, what you okay. were okay. doing. So, yes. Um, I can do too if you want. <laughs> so, it was, it was very good that you did that. It was wonderful. What about my telepathy and my channeling? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. You've actually been in the channeling class a couple times, and you're doing much better. Yes. It I think that you will be channeling eventually on Earth quite, not, not a couple years maybe at the most. Okay. In a couple years I'll be channeling. You'll be channeling in a couple years at the most. I think oh, maybe okay. even a little before then. But we'll see how you develop and how you're moving along. So we'll see. Okay. But, but I'm not thinking about children because I was asking for two more. Do you have hybrid children? Or is that the question? Yeah, because I was asking for two more hybrid children. Oh, wife. okay. Well, I will pass that along. I will pass that no. along. That you want more no, hybrid right. children. Yes. Right. Okay. Very good. All right. Thank Thanks a lot. Oh, you're so welcome, Noah. Noah. Thank you. Thank yes. You. And thank you for all the things you bring up. Yes. And um. I didn't mention all the names. I could mention uh, 10 or 12 more names of people that go there very often or, or have something to do that's important there. But it would take just too much time, and we have more questions. So. Hello, Dr. Douglas. Ah, Gabriel, how are you? I did not understand did what not you understand said about me. Oh, that you've gone to the colonies and you were a leader a couple times, but you're also the jokester that comes up. Um, you tell a lot of jokes. You're very happy-go-lucky um, and other things. But anyway, yes, you're very, very, very much uh, calm, cool, and collected when you're there, and you tell a lot of jokes and do a lot of ribbing. Yeah, I, I I don't know about the telepathy. I don't see telepathy. I don't see telepathy. Telep 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 you are 
you are very telepathic in fourth dimension, believe me. But you see, you're not around the right people on Earth to feel that you're telepathic. So I, I can understand that because um, you're not around the right people. But um, if you were, you would be able to tell. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, just to quickly interrupt here a second before Stephen asks his question. Um, yes. Could the guys on Jim's end just turn his volume down a tiny bit? Getting a little bit of echo. Is what? It's, we didn't uh, quite get that. Echoing and feeding back a bit. Back a bit of the volume. Oh, okay. If someone could assist. How's that? Me. Is that better? Is that better? Yes, one, two. Yes, two, one, two. Mm. Yes, what happened is she brought up one of the speakers and set it on the couch. Ah, that would be why. Yes, yeah. yeah, so now it's now back on the floor. Thank you. Thank you. Not a problem. Hello. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. Know. She just needs what? All right, who's that? Stephen is oh, she need me to... Hello, John. Go ahead, who's next? Yes. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, I guess I have the same question. Uh, have I been to the uh, colonies recently? And, uh, oh, Steve, yes. Yeah. Yes, you have. Definitely. You've been there a couple times, actually, recently, and there was a reason for that. Uh, you needed some training on the, uh, the Stargate that's nearby you. And uh, and also about the uh, vortex that's north of you. So um, the, both things are um, we're being trained to you about. You understand? Yeah, I kind of remember yeah, some of them. Uh, kind of like doing some tasks and stuff, just running around. Yeah. There. Um, also, uh, I have I have a kid. I just wonder, having haven't had time to get any information with my hybrid kid, and just how old is he, and uh, when I could actually talk or meet with him or communicate. Okay, let me check on that for you, Steve. Hold on. Hey, thank you, thank you. And hello, everyone. Did you name your child? It'll be easier to find if you give me a name. Yes, Stephen, as my name, Stephen. Oh, okay. Well, that'll be easy to find. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes, he is uh, six months old. Six months old. Okay. Is that? And he's doing very well. Very well. Quite a bright child. Very, very, very much like. Uh, you very a lot of questions and a little bit cocky for a six month old, but doing very well. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, you said you remembered some of the things that uh, about the training for the Stargate. Well, uh, I had a couple of vivid dreams uh, here recently about uh like going into a house and then uh, going to like a mountain type thing and uh, messing with some type of device. Ah, uh, yes. And uh, and then and returning and then uh, and then kept moving around and stuff, uh, something like that. Okay, very good. I'm glad you remembered. All righty then. I can't tell you anymore. If you remembered quite a bit, that's good. You bring, You will remember more later. Okay. Oh, that's good. Bravo. He's okay. next. Um, Bravo. Carol. Caroline asked if Frazier was already born. I, I'm having a hard time hearing. Caroline. Ah, uh, like that's better. Know? I I I suppose it's one of her babies, Frazier. If it was already born. One moment, please. What's the name? Freja. F R E J A. Oh, that is nice. I like that. Not quite yet, no, but soon, very soon. Okay. Not quite yet. 
Not and Liney, you are so popular to, on the on the colonies. Everyone loves it when you're there. And Laura, you and Laura, it's always very nice to have you together. You you make a good team. <laughs> um. Also, Zenaida, the, the, can you check to see if hers was born? I think it was a lyric. Zenaida, do you have a name for us? Uh, I don't have the name. Um, Zenaida, just a moment. I don't see that one as being born as well. Not yet. It's not in the books yet. Okay. okay. Thank you. Very um, good. Sharon and then Brian. Sharon. Hello, Douglas. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Your mother is not with you today. She's she's about. She's <laughs> in another room. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I wanted to ask about uh, crafts I've been seeing. What? <laughs> I wanted to ask about crafts I've been seeing. Um, what did, what have you seen here? What Pardon have you me? seen? Um, I've seen some fly over my head. I've seen some, uh, I don't know, they're out in the distance, like in the sunrise and in the sunset. Are they orbs? No, they're, they're more uh, um, like plain. Are they flat? Yes. One moment. Are they triangular or are they circular? They're flat, circular, like discs. Do they have Do they have any dimension other than flatness, or they do. do they Or do they have a, a raise? Are they raised in the center? They are raised in the center slightly, and yes. uh, okay. they were white in appearance. Ah, very good. That gives me much more. There's so many ships around the earth right now. Yeah. I have to get a good description or else I cannot give you who it is. But that is one moment. Yeah. Of course, another species that we haven't heard of, yes. The Terosians. That we just learned about them, and yes, the the Terosians are now around the Earth as well, and they are raised. Their ships are round, but not completely round. They sort of pull out a little bit. They're round-ish, ovalish more, and they they're uh, they pull out in the middle. Is that what it was? More ovalish, not round. Was it or was uh, yeah. it round? I, uh, kind of. Ovalish, yeah. Um, okay. And I felt like that. they were <laughs> kind of winking at me, like they would dissipate and then blink in the sky. But yes. Um, anyway. Um, um, the Terosians are from uh, a gal a different galaxy than this. Of course, you're at the edge of a galaxy, so the galaxy that you're closest to on that edge, it, it is spinning, but you've gotten closer to them because of the spinning of the galaxy. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So, um, yes, so they are able to uh, get to you much quicker. So they And plus they know what's happening because of all the news that spread out from the galaxies about Earth and the rising. You are actually a big, a big news topic because you were starting your ascension. So there's many new species coming to visit. We're not really quite happy about that because let me tell you it's hard to control a lot of new species coming to look at you. You know, we don't know if you're going to they're going to be involved. We don't know if they're just neutral. We don't know if they're bad. Um, so with so many arriving at at so many times, um, times is a bad word, but um, it's it is hard to keep them apart and keep track of them even because some of them go to Mars some of them are going to the to the moon where they're not really welcome but others are going to uh, Venus or or close to Venus you know they go all over and they're just watching from a distance but some just like to take and come right in right in and Zoom right over your head and whatever, because they're they're not knowing that you haven't had first contact yet. So, <laughs> uh, 
Anyway, but we let them know as soon as possible, do not land on the Earth or do not make yourself visible, otherwise you may get shot down. But at this point, there's so many, they wouldn't know where to shoot. So, uh, And they wouldn't want to start anything at this point. So um, if that answers your question. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. And yes, you have been to the... the uh, the colonies as well. Yes. Thank and you, you have been into the telepathic and actually channeling class. You went to one of the channeling classes. So that's good. Thank you. Thank you. But you've been there for like four times, five times. Quite a, in, and they've been fairly recent, fairly recent, December and January, yes. So, very good. Uh, Robert O'Brien. Uh, hello. 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 How, I would like how are to you? Know, I'm fine. I'd like to know what am I doing in the colonies and what am I like in the colonies? Oh, you're you're actually sort of a flirt with the female aliens, but otherwise than that, you have a lot of chums. You have those that really, uh, really understand what you're all about in some ways. Not on Earth so much, but in the colonies, they really understand uh, what you're all about, and you're you're very interesting. You're a very interesting person, and to talk to you, you would you have a lot of knowledge. You seem to be uh, someone that's constantly learning. So that's, it's very nice. It's a very beautiful thing. Does that describe you very well? Yes. You said I flirt with the females. Yes. No matter what they look like. Because you're getting used to a new thought pattern, I think. You would like to be as social and cultural with the females as possible. You want to know their culture as well as their personalities and how they act with you and your interactions. So you're actually studying cultures, and the, the male species find that actually very interesting. Did that answer your question? Uh, yes. Oh, one more. What are the yeah. chances that... I'll have a physical interaction with a female alien on Earth. Will you have one? I was asking. Like, you've had a physical react. You've had physical interactions on the colonies at least a couple times that I am aware of. At least that's the rumor. But um, on Earth, you have not had any contact of that nature yet. But I'm sure that will happen after first contact. But you have been active on the colonies with a couple different alien ladies. All right. Did yeah. is there a question there somewhere? No. I mean, did you feel that you did have interaction with an alien on Earth? No. No. Oh, I thought maybe you felt that you did. But no, you haven't. All right. Who is next? Brian. Brian, how are you? Greetings, Douglas. I think this is my uh, first time coming first through and talking to you. Yes, we talk on the colonies, but we haven't talked here. No. So. Uh, my my question, dear friend, is um, uh, what is my connection? With, with, with near or with you guys in the colonies, what am I exactly what am I doing exactly in the dream time? For us, um, you already are a very well-spoken individual. So your statesman-like qualities with the aliens has been very impressive. So you have been helping us in a semi-ambassadorship with some of the Yuyil that are coming to the ship, the new you yell and yes. the new uh, Pleiadians, because we are changing out some of the um, 
we're changing out some of the uh, people, sending them back, getting them a rest, and bringing some fresh bodies on board. Of course, these do will not leave, but um, and Tukar the and the the main ones are going to stay. But uh, we're uh, we're getting some fresh uh, blood into the ships, and you are actually one of the greeters, uh, ambassadors to them, letting them know what's going on. You've been uh, around the ship. You're one of the few that has been in several corridors of the ship different areas of the ship and you are uh, showing them where they have to go and what they have to do. Why is it that I feel like I've been doing this for many years on this earth now? I, I don't know why you feel like you've been... Do you, do you feel like you've been doing that very thing for many years? I just... I feel like I've been on so many ships that I just... there's just so much. Well, yes. Not on... yes. You have been on other ships. There's no question about it. Uh, the information that you carry with you to the colonies it definitely tells us that you've been on other ships. There's no question. And But that is why one of the things is that you're very, very good with people. And, the, and you're very good with alien species. For some reason, you know protocol very well. Yes. And um, one of the best that we have. So that's how we use you. I um I wanted to thank you, Douglas, and for the people that are allowing this this transfer to take place from Earth to the colonies. Thank you. I wanted to thank them and to the governments. Thank you. Thank you. I just wish you would remember it like I do. I think there's something different. We've been I, doing this for a very long time, and I, so after I, I a while, I just start to remember. Yes, what? I can, I cannot go into the details because of you know certain protocols. Well, I know why I remember. They don't replace the last thought because I know what what's going right. on. Right. Oh. But um, I, I wanted to say thank thank you, Douglas, for everything that you do for the colonies. And um, I that is one of my my goals here on the planet is to be an ambassador to many other races. Thank you. And you are. You actually you very much are. So that is a wonderful thing. Thank you very much. Much love. Much love. And I'm glad you remember some of it. Much love to you as well. Fine chap you are. Yes. Hello. Angela, it's next. Hello, Angela. Um, hi, Doug. How, How are you? I'm very good. How are you? Good. Um, my question is, um, like, what do I do up on the colony? You're, you're in the telepathy class and also in the channeling class. But um, every now and then, you've been in uh, Colony 5 a couple times to be entertained. You like the different entertainments that you find there because you, uh, you like comedy, you like music, you like dancing, you like many things. So um, you really enjoy the uh, Colony 5 entertainment. And when, so when you go there between your classes, you end up going to Colony 5 just so that you can uh, relax and, and be entertained for a little while. I do like, like to be entertained. Of course. So, um, um, yes, so but you are doing telepathy and you are doing channeling when you do the classes. Um, do I, I... I know that I oh, asked for a high um, that's coming along. That's coming along. It's coming along nicely. Just a moment. That's just something recent that happened with you. They just, within the last couple months, took your DNA. So you're not far along, but you will have a child by next year. Or by the end of next okay. year. Okay. By the end of this year, maybe. So that will okay. be good for you. Yes, okay. Yes. Excellent. Um, the other, the other question I have is when we were talking to Elohim, I was not able to ask a question, but um, I'm, I suffer from uh, migraine headaches, and I, I suffer from headaches all the time, and they just seem to be, I seem to have headaches all the time, and I'm wondering if it's because that I've been touching into fourth dimensional. Is that possible? It's very possible. I will have to. Uh do a scan or something to find out. I don't know if they can scan fourth dimensional energy in humans yet, but I'll find out. 
Because it, what would happen, this is what would happen, is it would show that it's moving through the body from the brain. Do you understand? Yes. So, yes. because once it's activated, it starts moving about the body. But not right away. It's a slow movement. It is simulates in, but it's still too fast for some humans because it gives them headaches, back aches, neck aches, and things of that nature. But it's a slow movement, but still if they are not accepting it in their body por portion, it can be painful. So just relax and accept it. And just say, I, oh, it must be a fourth dimensional pain, so it doesn't really exist as as much as I think it does, so. <laughs> well, I okay. That's all I have. Thank you much, love. Sarah? Much love to you as well. Hello, Douglas. Hello. Who am I speaking to you? It's Sarah. How are you? Hello, Sarah. Oh, I've, I spoke to you last time you were on the, on the colonies, yes. When was that? It was in... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I missed it. That's all right. We've had a nice chat, but that's okay. Maybe it was early, um, perhaps it was early January. You were telling me about how your channeling was going on Earth, and it was interesting. I, you have some very interesting channels. Well, I do. <laughs> yes, you channeled one for me. It was a, a snake creature of some sort. It was very interesting. <laughs> Yes, um, I have a couple of questions. One I want to ask about the children, my children. Oh, yes. We talked about those too. Your children are doing very well. Um, yes, I think Liney said they had dreads too. They had what? Dreadlocks, like dreads. Oh, yes. It's interesting. That, that is something that they chose for themselves. There is oh. style and fashion in outer space as well. It's not like... Um, Everyone's plain, their clothing are plain. Like I said, Noha designed clothes for um, a couple of different aliens. So. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to confirm that. Yes, that is correct. Okay, and I have another question. Yes. Recently in my dreams, I feel like I'm living a whole nother life as if it's progressing like it does every day here. And I'm meeting different people from different civilizations. Let me check something for you. You might be in a, a dimensional shift. You might be doing a, on the line of a dimension and living one life in your dreams and one life in your reality. That has happened a couple, more than a couple times, actually. But um, let me check that for you. If we weren't aware of that, this is the first time that you've said anything about your second life in your dream state. Do you, do you get a good night's sleep? Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Like, but I'm, I felt I like I've been like in three different planets so far. And one yeah, of what? them, I went somewhere and there was some ruins with bones and there was an alien that looked all skeletal and, um, it, it was some speculation that there may be a Stargate there. Um, All right. Well, I, I can't think of that planet right at the moment. However, let me check and see if you're on a dimensional line where you are living. And because there are some places where the vortex actually are dimensional entrances. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. um, and if you live on it, and if you sleep on it, it's very possible to have interactions with other dimensions while you are sleeping because you're right on it in your bed. So, um, and then during the day, you're not quite, you're not in your bed every day, so just at the nighttime. But let's see. Interesting. It, it appears to be a vortex, but it doesn't appear to be dimensional. However, that doesn't mean it isn't. But it does not appear, it's just an energy vortex that you're on. But perhaps your fourth dimensional energy is opening up uh, some other things while you're sleeping. 
So I think that's where it is. It's just a vortex, but your fourth dimensional energy is strong, so it opens up uh, dimensional things while you're sleeping. That would be my guess. Because I was watching this video, um, there's this guy uh, by the name of, I believe it's Andrew Bartseets, Bart and he calls himself the Galactic, the Galactic Historian, and he was talking about uh, soul codes. And when I heard the description of it, I began crying. Okay. What were they called? Soul codes. Andrew Barton. Is that the name of the species? Soul codes. Oh, soul codes. Yes, I was going to say, I've never heard of the soul code species. Um, soul codes. Oh, yes. There are soul codes. No question about that. And I began crying when I heard about it. As yes. It said, I provided one for a species. Yes. There are soul codes. And I would not doubt one bit if you are if you are traveling to different dimensions because of your fourth dimensional energy, I would not be surprised that you would be able to do that because you are on a vortex. And perhaps it's meant to be that way. Mm. Okay, thank you for that. Sounds You're delicious. welcome. Hello, Douglas. Hello, Douglas. Uh, I have a question. Uh, a few, many webinars back uh, ago, um, I heard that people are doing videos of aliens, like interviewing them for false contact so they can play uh, the videos. I'm just curious to know how many errors are recorded now compared to back then. How many errors? Errors. Oh. How long? How long? How long? Like, uh, hours. hours. Yeah. The hours are in the hundreds of thousands because there's more than one person doing filming at the same time. So they they can film for they have three different films going on at the same time all day long. So it's they've done much and they have actually out of all that filming have taken about 6 hours and put it on the internet. So there is about six hours worth of their videos on the internet at this time, but we cannot tell you where they are because as soon as we would tell you that, the government would take them off. So you must look diligently, and I will, I, when I'm talking, I will give a couple clues, but I, hopefully they won't be deciphered. Um, but anyway, yes, there are about six hours worth of videos from the colonies on YouTube. Now, saying that, it sounds like a lot, but there's like a million hours of videos on YouTube. So in, in the, the video world, there's millions and millions of hours because people are posting videos constantly and continuously. So... Uh, to find them might not be as easy as you might think, but um, if you um, are diligent, um, they are not American videos. Not none of the sources speak English. And at this time. And how many hours uh, have there been that when false contact happens, they're going to be transmitted? How many hours have there Oh. False contact. And many made for... It, it, what, what has happened is this. Uh, they got into making videos for first contact to send for before first contact. You understand? So that people would be aware about that. But then as they were thinking about that, they also decided that they would need a series of videos for after first contact to explain exactly in series what's going on 
how things are going to develop and uh, the organization that they had for First Contact that they're not taking over, but they will be released in an organizational pattern so that people will be calmed day after day, but learn more day after day. So there is 14 days worth of videos afterwards. So your television screens, or our television screens, well, we even say, well, we, we will be watching alien things every day on television. Now, you don't have to watch them. They are there. They are not forcing you to watch them, but there will be a channel that will be specifically for instructions of what is happening and knowledge of what is happening, and it will be running 24 hours a day for at least a month. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Douglas. Hello. Douglas. Hello. It's uh, Sheer. You. Sure. I can I you. can I ask uh, questions from other people first, and then you can go? Okay. All right. Um, the questions and answers is sometimes we forget to look at them. Um, this Marco da Costa. Um, he wants to know how many times did he go to the colonies, and how am I there? And if he's, he's, if how come one he's and okay? two, he's been the colony one and two, one for uh, telepathic and two for exercise. He's either in a, he's there for exercise. Yeah, because he's wondering how come he can't channel yeah. channel there. Oh, oh, the channeling classes will be coming for him. He will. Don't worry about that. Um, channeling comes when it's supposed to come. If there's no need for it at the moment, don't worry about it. Um, we'll talk about that later, I guess. Okay. But not everybody will channel. Even though everybody has the ability to channel, not everyone will. But I think maybe he might, yes. But not quite yet. Um, let's see. There was somebody. Oh, uh, Nisa. Who? Nisa. Nisa. Um, Nisa wanted to know it's if I believe I don't know if it's a she or he. Um, if he's been to the uh, the the colonies and have been to the channeling class yet? Yes. Nisa has been to a channeling class and to a telepathic class. Um, her whole attitude changes when she comes to the colonies. I must tell her this. Um, she's so much more relaxed and calm in the colonies. On Earth, she tends to be very stressed out and a little dark, seemingly gloomy. But on the colonies, you are so fresh and peaceful. It's it's really quite amazing. The transformation. So, yes. We love you very much, actually. Yes. You are one of those ones that attract a lot of people. What people want to talk to you. Okay. You're a good business mind, But you're it's <laughs> I I won't go into that now. Okay, sure wanted to ask a question. Yes, sure. Hello, Douglas. Hello. Um, before you have mentioned me, something about uh, the human colonies want to give me a job or something that they are looking for you to be an instructor. Perhaps they like the fact that you question things, that you do not just accept things but question things and want proof about things, and so. They're thinking that that's the kind of person that they want to um, do a, a different kind of class with. But they'll be talking to you about that even more in the future. Okay, so you... I'm not sure that you will be teaching it yet, but they are looking into it. Yes. Okay, so they will contact me somehow. 
Yes. If, okay. if they okay. want you to teach the class, you will be teaching it. You would love it. It will resonate with you very highly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and okay. then one more it, thing. I, I can't tell you this. It's about hybridization programs because you seem to understand them in a way that not very many people do. I'm not sure what that is, but that's what I've been told. Yes. When you go I, to the colony, you understand the hybridization program very well, even the DNA parts. So um, I'm not sure. Does that make sense to you? Actually, yes. And I want to ask you if there's any news about the new fusions, fusions that I ask for. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, there is. Uh, which one has just started? Is it the Octorian that you're getting more of? Hmm. They're giving you more Octorian. It's going up to 10%. And hmm. that has started, yes. Do you, is that what you needed to know? Uh, yes, and the Syrian fusion was approved, maybe? Yes, yes. But it's not started yet until the Octorian has been completed. How much time does it take for each one of the processes? It depends on the individual. It depends on the individual. Each individual is different. They check and make sure that at the speed that it's going in is assimilated into your body correctly. And sometimes, if it's assimilated quickly, they can do more hybridization quicker. However, if it takes a long time to assimilate, then it takes a while for it to get into your system. Okay. Thank you very, very much. You're very welcome. Um, Caitlin or Jasmina, do you have questions? Yes, I have a question. Hello. Hello, Jasmine. And I wanted to ask you what am what am I like at the colonies? You like to. Um, let me put it this way. You are very light-hearted, and you like to um, talk about uh, things like movies, and you like to talk about your favorite actors and actresses, and um, you actually thought that it would be a good idea to start something on the colonies uh, in the entertainment area with plays and theater. Yes, I can see that. Yes, and so they're looking into that, and if they do, they're going to ask you to be um, one of their uh, the people that assists them with that. Is that okay? I'm, I mean, of I'm course. just hearing about this. But um, <laughs> yes, and they know that you are already a good actress or actor or whatever you want to call it, and that your your heart is very pure with that. It, it resonates very highly with you. So uh, they're going to use you as someone that will help them in these areas. But you do uh, a telepathic class, and you were and you went to telepathic class several times, and you went to channeling class once, and you actually went to colony two for exercise at least once or twice. Yes. yes. Um. What about, uh, could, would that, could I be able to channel here? Not yet. They will let you, uh, well, you're in the channeling class and you will channel eventually. But there are other things that you are working on first that are more important. Okay, that's you fine. Must, you're working on uh, a, a basis for your life right now, are you not? Yes, so, I am. Yes, so that is what has to be first. Um, okay, thank okay. you. Hi, Anne. Have a wonderful day. You're you're so pleasant. Have a good Thank day. Thank you. Uh, I also, Hi, Anne had a question. If uh, about, about continue, the yes. Hi, Anne. Hello. Um, he's asking about his hybrid daughter. What about her? She's doing very well. She's um speaking two languages right now and that is very impressive for her age 
Yes. What else does he want to know? Um, can you tell something about her? What she? What is she like? She is very interested in learning. She's a, a very interested learner. And that's how she is learning two different languages. She can speak two different languages, I should say. She's learning her main language, but she's also learning another language. She's also very mathematical. But that goes along with uh, learning languages, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe. Um, but very, very smart. One of our bright ones. Definitely a genius. Okay, beautiful. beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Hello, I must Douglas. go now, though. They're calling me away. Who? But uh, is there another question? Yes. Um, this is Caitlin, and I had a question about um, if hybridization. Am I hybridized with anything? Uh, let me check. Did you ask for anything? Uh, I think yes. not really. No, I didn't think. No, you're not. Um, <laughs> um, you're not hybridized. But if you wanted to be, you could be. There's a there's a bit of the alien in you from your descendants and things, but nothing major. No, like point uh, eight percent, point three percent, things of that nature. But if you wanted some uh, hybridization, that would be uh, something you would ask for. And if you want to ask for it now, I could pass it along. Uh, I think Lyran would be nice. I know I have elemental DNA for sure, but I, I, I've never... I can't hear you. Sorry. I said I just knew that you would ask for Lyran because you're an animal lover and you love the elementals and all things of Earth. I knew that you would ask for the Lyran, and it would be a perfect fit for you, I believe. But they'll get back to you on that one. Okay, but thank you. But I think you. you'll get that one for sure. Yes, you, you mm -hmm. love the elementals, you love animals, you, you're you just so in tune with third dimensional earth in many ways, but also other aliens and things, so you're, you're quite special. Mm -hmm. But yes, Lyran would be perfect for you, perfect. Thank you, Lyran. yes. Lyran. And, and one last question, one last I, question. I've been drawing a lot, drawing a lot. and yes. I'm not sure if it's... Uh, automatic writing because it honestly feels like the entity is kind of coming through and doing it for me. I've drawn I've drawn uh, hybrid children. I kind of speculate that they would be in the Gurkvignir or something. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of curious about that. Is that automatic writing? Yes, it is a form. There's there's several different forms of automatic writing. There's the form where you're not looking or whatever. There's a form where it feels like you're being controlled. There's a form where you're actually looking at the paper but not sure what you're writing or not sure what you're doing or what the next movement will be. So yes, it's a form of automatic writing, yes. Yes, um, but what really gets me is like they, they literally write their signature for me. Um, it's as if they just, I let them do that, and yes. uh, so yeah, it's they just fun. give their names afterwards. It's really interesting, but the children is what I find really interesting, because, yes. because they're so unique, so unique in the way they look. They look. So I'm so kind of curious about I'm them. Is there anything you could give? to me, um, like any information on them? Well, one of the children, what color are they? Tell me what colors they are. are they um, one, is one is aquatic. He is like a, a tealish blue color. Um, the other one, I suspect, is like a Yael hybrid. She has really long fingers. Yeah. The, um, the first one, the aquatic, it's a long, young lady. It's a male. Or is it a male? I think it's a male. It looks like a boy. All right. It's a boy. All right. I let, I, could you show it to us? Uh, I, I think if... I don't think I can right now. I don't really All right. have my camera working. Um, but yeah. what, the thing is I'd have to sort of see it to know. I really, I really can't look into the through... I can't do that. But... um. 
I'd have to see the pictures. If you'd post them online or do something of that nature, then I would be able to tell you. But the aquatic one, I know of that species. Um, they're actually in your solar system, but not around Earth. They're the ones that have the 26-mile-long ship out by Jupiter. Uh -huh. And uh, it's filled with liquid in most rooms, and um, it's very interesting. And they are they are just observing now, and they have been observing for probably eight to ten months now, at least, maybe longer. We just noticed them. I mean, we don't really look for them, really, but we did notice them about eight. Or, uh, they're telling me twelve months ago. Oh, it's been more than that. It's been twelve months. So yeah, they've been out there quite a while, just looking, just looking. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. I, I posted I, I them posted online. It just, uh, just uh, I can't ah, I'll have to look. Right now. Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, wonderful. I'll take a look at them. They're on my uh, was, Google Plus. Uh, they have profile. not. They have not really connected with Gurfagnir. We have sent them several messages, but they have not sent anything back to us. However, they are interacting with people on Earth. We know that. So. You are one of them, yes? Ah, but, uh, I see. To work for Nier, I'm, I'm sort of surprised, but not really. They're, they're, they're not interested in an alliance, and we're not really asking them to be in the alliance, but we just want to say hello and see what they're up to. So, But no, re no response so far. So. <laughs> well, I thought that they were actually in the in the colonies because I remember I don't know if it's Dakar or Lakesh mentioning that there was people that they were looking for people to interact with children on the in the colonies that were hybridized that, that were hybrids. hybrids. And I thought and that, I was that's the full that's the, the what the beings look like. That's not a hybrid. Um I'm, I'm quite sure that they're not in the, any hybridization program. However, um, the young one, the yu gi one, most likely with the long fingers is a hybrid, yes. I see. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you You're so welcome. Much. Not a problem. <laughs> well, thank you, well, Douglas, thank you, for, Douglas coming. for coming. Yes, I got to go now. Yes. Actually, I've, I've overstayed my welcome, of course. In some ways, so I must go. <laughs> Always welcome. But um, have a great day, jolly good. And, Thank, um, you. Thank you. Thank you for coming and you and all that questions. stuff, you know. Yes. Thank you. We love you. Much love, and um, and I'm actually, it's actually lovely here in the colonies more lately than usual. I'm not sure why. Perhaps I'm coming fourth dimensional in my 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 heart. So, <laughs> in my heart. <laughs> but um, I'll talk to you later. M much love. Much love. Namaste. 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 Oh, hello. Hi, Jim. Hi. There was other more. There was actually more entities wanting to come in. I just needed to come back for water. <coughs> oh, really? Really? You're leaking. I'm leaking. <laughs> <laughs> You're also feedbacking a little bit still. I've been uh, trying to mute the microphone when other people were talking. Um, oh, was so a um, interruptions, people's. Um, it was a little. It was choppy. Um, I was having to mute you now and again while you talk. So the questions. Yeah, you're choppy too. Okay. Oh yeah. I don't know if they can move the speakers a little bit. Was every was. Did I sound choppy to everybody? Sometimes you cannot really hear really, really. Yeah, so yeah, I couldn't hear you sometimes. We have to fix that. How can we fix that? Like, we can, we can uh, clip on a microphone to you. 
I think. I think that'll be the best solution. Oh, do you think a microphone would help? Yes, a directional yeah. microphone would make a big difference. Yes. All right, so we'll do that. We'll find one. Perfect. All right. Yeah, there was just some feedback when people were talking and asking questions. I was muted to mute them, so the question went through, and then I had to unmute you whenever you had been talking. I wonder if it comes out on the uh, video that way. Yes, it will. Yeah. Yeah, it was coming out on YouTube. But, but never mind, we, got, we had a good session. So. Yeah, because there's no uh, feedback with you, it's just with us. Okay. Yeah, so with the, the just nipple. Oh, the nipple. Um, it's coming oh, through the edge. Coming this? Back. Um, It's good. Alrighty then. That's a wrap. Let's um That's a wrap. if you want to do to do some blessings, that'd be great. Okay, no. Uh I know that um, there was another entity that wanted to come in, however, I don't think we have enough time for that. I'll think I'm in next week. Who was it? Um, I think it was Bast. Bast? Bast. Is that correct, Bast? Is that the Egyptian god? I think so, yeah. I think, uh, Robert. Robert. Okay, but I don't, I, I know they're, oh, it's, they're going to come back later, so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. You have a full day today. Yes, my day won't end until nine o'clock tonight. Yeah. Because I have friends coming over later today. <laughs> okay. After the after the three o'clock. <laughs> All right, uh, Sabrina, would you like to uh, share a blessing? Kapananana <laughs> of connection and we send up prayers of understanding for you we know that we want your atmosphere to be charged with health and goodness and joy and ascension we know that it is a difficult time for earth and we know that we are here to help when we are needed but do not be afraid there will be a time when you will come out of the darkness that the darkness will no longer cause you to the pain that it causes you now and that understanding peace and health will be conquered will be part of what you are all about the life that you are living now must be 
accepted. And we accept you for who you are as well. And we love you in an unconditional way, but also in a way that ascends, transcends the thoughts of humanity. Let us bring hope to one another in an even greater fashion as we send it down to you, share it with one another. And as we bring you thoughts and energies that you do not yet have, share it one with another so that you may be always together in community. Thank you, Jeff. And thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Just would like to say bye. Bye bye. Before you leave, guys, just just quick. Before. Yes. Yeah. I'd like everybody to stay, if that's possible, just for a second. Yes. If people are interested in the auto drawings, and they are actually drawing pictures, Sabrina has a website, galacticlanguage.com. Um, she will be hosting people's pictures up there, so they will be online, so the aliens can interact with them and see them and enjoy them. Um, also, I just want to let people know if this uh, session has been useful to you, you can donate at the Human Colony website at www.humancolony.org. And the last little thing I'd like everybody to do for a little special occasion is we got Jim and Max's birthdays coming up, so I invite everybody to um, unmute themselves, and then on the count of three, everybody just wish happy birthday, and we end the broadcast that way. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday! birthday. Happy, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy Oh, we love you, Jeff. I, yeah. And those, those it's discussions. It's going to start early, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm those, going to, those that are right. doing the channeling workshop, I will be posting the link for you, for you on the webpage on humancolony.org. Good. Jim, it's your birthday. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Thank you. Thank it's you very much. Month. Thank yes. you very much. Okay, so thanks, folks. See you again next week. Thank you very much. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you, Bye -bye. Rowan.